Hello, my name is Alicia Urquidi Diaz. I am research associate at the World Data Systems International Technology Office. That's WDS ITO, or simply ITO. Together with uh, Dr. Payne, who's director at ITO, um, we've prepared this presentation on the Harvestable Metadata Services Working Group that was coordinated by ITO from 2019 to 2020. Just to give a brief introduction, we set up um, the group at ITO, which is, by the way, hosted at the University of Victoria at Ocean Networks Canada. So coordinated by us, but uh, hosted by two WDS members, namely Dr. Ot Shambodou and Dr. Juan Lei Wang. Dr. Shambodou is director of the International System of Geomagnetic Indices, or ISTI, which is based in Strasbourg in France. And Dr. Wang is director of the World Data Center for Renewable Resources and Environment, which is based in Beijing, in China. The group was set up uh, by us as a community-driven, multidisciplinary platform where members of the World Data System were invited to interact, to collaborate, and to share their good practices, their approaches, and pain points associated with creating harvestable metadata services for improved dataset discoverability. As you can see on the screen, uh, besides uh, ISKI and um, the WDCRE, we had Dr. Downs from uh, CDEC, the Socioeconomic Data and Application Center, Simon Flower for, from Intermagnet and the World Data Center for Geomagnetism in Edinburgh, Mayra Oyola from the International DNSS Service, or IGS, Xu Qi from the Chinese National Space Science Data Center, and uh, Yinghua Zhang, who's uh, from Global Change Research Data Publishing and Repository. It's also, um, or I need to, uh, to mention at this point that um, our work with HMETS is funded by the Canadian agency Andrio as part of ITO's role in fostering knowledge exchange and technological interoperability between Canadian and global research data infrastructures. I'd like to start by talking briefly about uh, reasons to expose the re repository's metadata. Um, so harvestable metadata is an established and widely used tool to support effective data discovery and data sharing. It's um, listed in the FAIR framework uh, as an indicator of dataset findability and as it entails better integration possibilities with the wider data management community for a data repository, it is also considered one measure of repository trustworthiness. Discovery metadata can be shared in many different ways, but the aggregation and syndication of a uh, data set um, collections metadata within a larger um, discovery system, um, that requires a protocol that is shared between your repository and uh, a discovery system. Some subject-specific data syndication frameworks, such as GIF, GEOS, or the IVOA, the International Virtual Observatory Alliance, have been evolving their data models and metadata standards, which were um, initially focused on data integration only to enable data set discoverability across research communities uh, and to share them in generic or generalist research data repositories and discovery services. Repositories on the Harvestable Metadata Services uh, Working Group currently share their metadata with aggregators such as NASA's Common Metadata Repository, the CMR, and EOSTIS uh, through GEOS, uh, through GEOS China, through IVOA, 
through the uh, data citation index from Clarivate, through B to find uh, a European project and EPOS, uh, which is part of the European Open Science Infrastructure as well. Um, I'd like to uh, point out here that among other um, outputs uh, and products, uh, ITO is creating a searchable index of metadata aggregators to aid uh, repository managers in finding um, aggregators to expose their metadata more widely. It's a database um, that is searchable by subject domain and by geograph geographic area covered by aggregation and would give an overview of these aggregators and the technology supported by them. Um, a suite of other products, um, including this one, um, will also include a report on documented use cases um, for harvestable metadata services, implementation plans, and a set of guidance documents to create a uh, harvestable metadata services implementation plan and examples from uh, the working group members, um, the guide that we've already mentioned, and some um, information resources such as a library of resources uh, on Sotero and um, other materials uh, related to lessons learned and other guidance such as uh, um, a primer on um, metadata syndication. The um, work in the group um, and the efforts uh, that were um, that were made to establish harvestable metadata services uh, foreground a social um, and community dimension to harvestable metadata services. According to Cooper and Springer, for all today's technological affordances, data sharing remains fundamentally a social activity. Achieving technological interoperability uh, involves uh, technical, but also um, other kinds of work um, related to understanding the specific the repository collections position within a landscape of technologies and frameworks that are both highly complex and rapidly evolving of the um, seven repositories that made up the the group the working group uh, each uh, representing established data communities in the social environmental earth and space sciences some of the group's repositories are looking to upgrade their metadata standards to integrate the repository better into the regional and open research data commons in pursuit of opportunities for collaboration and open science, while also naturally safeguarding data quality and trust, accountability and proper attribution and so on. Others are seeking to enhance their existing harvestable metadata or to exploit their potential uh, which they already have to connect their data holdings with additional or wider networks of data users. Often, this, the forces driving data sharing initiatives originate in collaboration with researchers working together around a specific area of study or issue that is from the bottom up. And World Data System Member organizations represent research communities that have been generating public datasets for many years, some even for decades, using pre-digital community standards for data aggregation. These uh, grassroots data communities, to attain long-term sustainability, are seeking to um, integrate with large or larger well-funded infrastructure projects but doing so has to be without abandoning their own established practices, uh, their users, their established users, and the purpose they have had originally. These are um, unique um, data cultures with a long history. Therefore, the goal is to find, assess, and select the most appropriate technological, but also functionally and culturally 
appropriate means to disseminate and share a particular repository's datasets in wider user communities. One more thing, if you'd like to have a look at the original poster in its interactive form at the AGU website, please click on the link that is posted below on the description. Thank you for your time and for your attention.